guys, I thought I would do a vlog today because I haven't done one for ages and I've got lots of cooking planned. First a giant mug of coffee to start feeling human. I also have to check Free Cycle every morning to see if there's any stuff that we could have for the allotment. I'm using these bottles to try and drink um, all of the water, as much water as I need every day. Um, so I've just poured out the first section of the bottle and I'm going to drink that by 9 o'clock. Okay, that's better. I'm feeling much more human now after a nice hot shower. So I thought I would vlog today because, yeah, I haven't done it for a while and recently I've spent loads of time, like all my free time, down at the allotment, which which is okay. I, I enjoy it, but I'm, I'm looking forward to more... The end process when the vegetables are actually grown but I know you've got to put in the time now but my favorite place to be is always going to be in the kitchen so today I'm going to have a nice luxurious day in the kitchen because I've actually got friends visiting this weekend and um, one of my friends is moving to Singapore so we're having kind of like a bon voyage um, just a girly sleepover and it's also my birthday next weekend so kind of like a double double celebration um, and they're coming around tomorrow, so we're going to have afternoon tea, and I'm going to make the scones for that. And then I'm also doing dinner for tomorrow evening, more like a light bites type thing, because we'll probably have been drinking by then and won't want like a big sit down meal. And my friends from university, so I don't get to see them very often. They just um, usually only like three or four times a year we manage to get together. So and then we usually go out. So it'll be nice to just have a a quiet evening in I'm really looking forward to it so I've got I've written myself actually a little schedule because I like to be organized and that's what I'm gonna go through today so these are the first things that I need it's the um, ginger nuts and the butter because I'm making the lime summer pie which is I know it's not summer but it's, it's a nice light pie um, it, the recipe is on my blog it's one that I did last summer can you see those eggshells <laughs> So again, talking about the allotment taking over, we've been saving the eggshells to go onto the plot. We need to just actually take them down there. These have all been like washed out, but we just haven't taken down them down to the plot yet. But I keep moving them around the house. That's the other thing actually with people coming, the front room is like full of potatoes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to move those somewhere as well. But anyway, first things first, I've got to go to work this morning. So I really need to get this cooking out of the way. And the first thing I'm going to do is make the base for the key lime pie. So the first thing we need is 200 grams of ginger biscuits. So then we just have to bash these up. I'm going to take my rolling pin and bash them. That's the door. So I was just about to measure out the butter and that was the doorbell going and a little parcel has arrived. Let's have a look at it. So we're getting something for review. What is it? Sun Bites Crispy Crackers. That's odd because I don't remember signing up to do these. Sun Bites Pitters. And Sun Bites Crackers with chutney. I actually went to um, a Walker's Lely Deli launch and they had some stuff there so what's it's got oh it's just got a press release in it about the what we've got hi laura please find and close a selection of some bites for you to try we hope you enjoy them always good when we've got snacks arriving that's that's ideal for this one isn't it we can have those at our little party Okay, let's actually now get back on with the, um, whatever we were doing. I was measuring the butter. <laughs> okay, so we need, you know what, I'm gonna wash my hands. This is the mixed up biscuit base, so I'm gonna put that into the bottom. It's probably best just to get your hands in for this one. Just have to line it across the bottom of the, Pan and pack it down tightly and evenly and then once it's all smoothed out it's ready to go in the oven only takes 10 minutes it's just gonna set it all together nice and solid and then it can take the topping okay so let's have a bit of a clear down and I'm doing chicken wings so I'm gonna do a marinade for those okay I think I've got everything that I want here and then I'll add a tin of tomatoes to it 
The reason I'm putting it in the Nutribullet is because it's got these um, chilies in it. They're like chipotle chili. They smell absolutely amazing. And I'll just blitz those up. I'll just put two in because that one looks like a more spicy chili, I think. I'm destroying the place. We're using the, not that one, this blade, the Nutribullet milling blade. Okay, so I've got my two chilies in there. Just plug it into the Nutribullet, push it down and twist. Helps if you switch it on at the wall. Now I've got those two chilies nicely powdered up. Take that back over to the side and it's just a little bit of everything really. Coleman's mustard powder, we'll do a spoonful of that. Celery salt, we'll do some of that. Cayenne pepper. This sweet paprika, which is so smoky, it's absolutely amazing. I'm also gonna add a couple of cloves of garlic. So once you've got all of your ingredients in, just give it another blast in the Nutribullet. So it's got the tin of tomatoes in there. And then you want to get your chicken wings out and cover them. Woo, that must be the base ready. Okay, so that's the base as it comes out of the oven. I'm gonna leave that to cool now and I'll deal with it after I get back from work. I'll deal with you later. I've got these chicken wings again from Waitrose. I really like, you don't get lots of excess bony bits that are no good to you. And then, um, oh, I don't think they've got the price on them. I think they're about 187 a pack or something. I'm having four packets of these where we've got like six people so I think that'll be enough. <laughs> so now I'm just pouring half of the sauce onto each batch of chicken wings. One thing I would say is because this is like a very bright red mix and you got it in plastic, rinse this in cold water because that will stop it from staining or stop the flavours from um, like tainting the plastic. That's a tip from my Tupperware days, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, then you just have to get your hands in it and get them all covered. I'm gonna put these in the fridge overnight. I don't, my plan today by getting all this prep and stuff done is once people arrive, I don't wanna to have to do anything. I want everything trayed up and ready to go in the oven. So all I have to do is grab it and shove it in and then I can get to see everyone and not be spending my whole time in the kitchen. and. The key to doing that is just prepping everything in advance. So I've just popped the cheesecake base under this little umbrella. Pop the dishwasher on. The master work now. I've got my little shopping trolley with me because I've got to stop and get some groceries on the way. But hopefully I won't be too long today because oh I'm out of breath. I'm walking up the hill. I um I did a lot of the prep for the meals earlier in the week because I knew I was going to be busy with my own baking at home today. There's something on the lens. Hold on, I'll just wipe you, there's something on the lens. I'm back from work now and I'm gonna crack on with some baking and Trevor's gonna pop out and get us some lunch. I think we're gonna have a Subway. So the first thing to do is make the topping for the lime pie and then I'm gonna make scones, but I'm just gonna do the dough and bake them in the morning so they're nice and fresh. And then I'm gonna do ice cream and then that's everything done for today. I've also got out the bacon wrapped sausages out of the freezer and the edamame. Oh my, there's some emergency vehicle going past outside. Um, they're gonna defrost now and then we can put them on the trays tomorrow. I've got a little ice cream station set up. So in my white hot chocolate tin, there's marshmallows and I've got some flakes some chocolate sauce and some cute little cups and I'm actually going to make some ice cream in the ice cream machine. Making the lime pie topping now so I'm just going to start by whisking these eggs. So now I'm going to add the can of condensed milk. Also adding the lime juice to that. I also just added the lime zest into there. I won't be putting the whipped cream on it until it's cooled but it's worth whipping the rest now and putting it in a piping bag while I've got this bowl out and it's dirty. So just having a late lunch now. I'm having, oh can you hear my tummy rumbling? Um, I'm having Subway Club on honey oat with extra gherkins. I'm just putting my cake stand together. You can just turn it upside down before you screw it all together with the doilies on and then the doilies stay in place, which is my little tip for you. So there's a hole underneath and the two sides stick together. I'm just putting the ice cream into the ice cream maker now. Um, this is the recipe for it. You can see why I've been doing lots of banana ice creams in here because it's a lot of cream and a lot of sugar 
but it's honestly the nicest ice cream I've ever tasted. This is the ice cream machine. I'm definitely going to do just a solid review of just this. I'm just going to pour it in now, the milky creamy mixture. While the ice cream gets made and Trevor watches loud TV, I'm going to do the dough for the scones. Tonight I've made a lamb Rogan Josh for tea. Uh, we're having it with some leftover tortillas because we don't have naan bread. Uh, so it should be pretty good. Morning guys! So the battery ran out of camera last night. The battery ran out of camera, the camera ran out of battery last night. Um, I finished making the ice cream, but I there was a little bit more cream like left to use up, so I put it all in, and I think ice cream can be too creamy, but we'll see what it's like um, later today. I think it might have some little lumps in it. I'll just wait for the sirens to go past. And I couldn't finish the scone dough because we actually ran out of milk, so I've just been up to Marks and Spencer's and I've got milk and yeast as well because I need yeast for the dough balls that I'm making and I actually um, ordered sandwiches they look really nice actually these are from Marks and Spencer's like food to order let's get them out of the packet there's a really nice selection in these and I just time's a bit tight with making everything anyway and if I had to buy in something I thought sandwiches would be the one because the fillings when you um like price them all up to get decent quality fillings anyway it's, it's quite expensive and sandwiches are just a fiddle aren't they they're time consuming so i took the shortcut with these and got um these from marks and spencers but they do look really nice so i've got some tulips which will look pretty as well right time to get on with today's baking there's not there's not loads to do i've got to do the scones do the dough balls put the cream on the cake and then just lay everything out. I want to use my cake stands where I can. Oh, another cheat that I've got is I also brought um, frozen profiteroles. Same kind of thing really. I was just a bit short on time and for um, like labor intensity, profiteroles are a, a tricky one to do and you can buy them for like a pound a box. The first batch of scones is ready to go in the oven. This is a Delia Smith recipe and it does say on them just to sprinkle the tops with a little flour. So do that. For like pastry recipes, pastries, doughs, that kind of thing, Delia Smith is usually my go-to. For something like sweet and extravagant, I would say Nigella. <laughs> hmm, the first batch of scones have come out the oven. They're a bit on the crispy side. Let's hope the next ones are better. I'm just mixing the dough for the dough balls now. This is a um, strong Canadian wholemeal flour. I think I'll probably have a bash at doing another batch of scones. I've got the second ones in the oven now, but I think I've got time to... Um, just start again with those but I'm gonna get everything else done first so this is the pizza dough which makes the dough balls that's just got to rest for an hour I'm gonna have some of these duff scones for breakfast they won't go to waste they look really good inside maybe I just cut them a bit thin got my tulips in a vase and I've just put the cream on top of the lime pie I'm just gonna put this little cloche over that the dough ball dough has nearly had its hour proven now so I'm just gonna stick these sausages in the oven I think I've got some toothpicks for when they're ready. Let's just check. This is my like cake bit drawer that I never use this stuff. It's tidy, but the only reason it stays tidy is because I rarely come in it. <laughs> um, they're little cocktail stiff ones, but these are the ones that want the Union Jack flag, so they'll be good to go in the um, sausages. I've dug out my little silver cake stand i got this for christmas from mom we've been looking for one for a while she found it in a charity shop isn't that pretty that was the whole reason i wanted to do afternoon tea today so i could use my cake stand um, i'm going to put the sandwiches onto it with some little paper doilies on there i'll get onto that afterwards <laughs> and they've i've just taken the dough i keep it in the air and cupboard to rise because that's the warmest spot and it's huge and i'm going to divide this up now into little balls and then it has another proof once it's all ball shaped and then they get cooked in the oven. This is just a basic pizza dough recipe and they only take eight minutes to cook. This is a quarter of the dough balls. We've still got quite a few to do. They are a bit misshapen. I know Trevor would use the scales, but I think they've got rustic charm. They probably won't cook evenly now though. Um, so I'm just putting them onto a grease tray and popping them into the oven. The first batch of dough balls are done. I'm just emptying out these 
pitta bakes. There's actually four packets in this bowl. That's just a cereal bowl. It's not that big. And they appear to just be broken bits of pitta. It's got quite a strong flavour, but not not sure. Just try these other ones, see how many we get in there. All the dough balls are done now. I've just got the profiteroles out of the freezer, but they've actually got like a sticky sauce on them. And I don't think that they'll look very... Well, they'll make a mess on top of the cake stand. So I think I've, I'm going to just do some melted chocolate and let it harden on top of that because I have got time. I'm also just doing another batch of scones now and then I'm pretty much done. Yay, the second batch of scones has worked nicely. I made them a lot thicker, um, so that's good. Well, guys, I'm all set. It's gone really dark outside, so it's just as well we're staying in. These are the eclairs and the second batch of scones which came out really nice. I've plated up the jam already and then the sandwiches are going to go on this stand but they're still in the fridge and so is the clotted cream. And then this evening we'll have the chicken wings, the little sausages, those little sunbite nibbles and the lime cake, lime pie. I think that's everything. Oh and then for later on this evening there's the... Uh, Oh, what is it? The ice cream. I've got the little ice cream station. I've also got some stuff to mix cocktails with. I'll show you that quickly and then I've really got to go and get changed. Funking cocktail mixer strawberry daiquiri. So you just have to add the rum to it and then you've got your cocktails. So I've got four of those as well. So we're definitely all set. I'm going to say goodbye now and I hope you've enjoyed getting ready with me for my um, birthday party slash my friend's leaving party and um, I'll see you later in the week. Don't forget to check out Facebook and Instagram for some pictures of tonight. Bye guys. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make these really tasty Rolo cookies.